Hi everyone. Thank you guys for commenting and liking the video and sharing and subscribing if it resonates. I really, I love hearing from you guys, so I really appreciate all the, the feedback I've been getting. Thank you guys for engaging with the channel and helping me get back in the algorithm. Um, I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. As always, I like to reiterate that I do channel several different energy groups on here, so only take it if it resonates. Um, some of the readings will be for you, some of them might not be for you, they might be a different energy group, so never try to force it to fit. If this one doesn't fit, I'm sure other ones will. But yeah, let's get right into it. What's the message someone out there on my channel needs to hear? Someone has an abusive mother. This is a very specific... It's really weird. It doesn't usually come to me that fast. It's almost like a Cinderella story. Like, I just got... Like, a, I just saw a woman crying. It's like someone... And there could be multiple people in this energy group, but, like, the main person I'm channeling is a woman. Someone has an abusive mother. Tell me about this. It's really weird. I just, like, saw it. I mean, I do channel. You know, I am, you know, clairsentient, uh, claircognizant primarily, but also partially clairvoyant and clairaudient. And I just, it's like I just saw the visual right in front of my face. So someone has an abusive mother. What do you want to say about that? The Hermit, Four of Swords, Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords. I'm hearing for one thing, it's like you're very empathic, you're very loving. You need to understand you're not going to win with this person. You're, you're not going to... You need to get yourself out of there. You need to get yourself... If you're living there, you need to get out of that situation if... If you're not living there, if you're just, if this person is just guilt tripping you into coming back into their life, it's like you need to get yourself out of that situation. If this is your story, I don't feel like this is your soul mother. So this isn't, so when I say soul mother, I mean, I don't think this woman is like on a soul level, like your soul family, your soul group, soul mates, the people that you incarnate with lifetime after lifetime. This is a karmic mother. This is not a soul mother. This is not, you have a soul mother. Basically, you have a woman that's been your mother in the majority of your past lives. You have a soul mother that's very angelic, very loving. She just wasn't your biological mother this lifetime, but most of your past lives, she has been your biological mother. So you do have that. I know it's lonely not having that, but it's, it's like, it's not like it just doesn't exist. You know what I mean? It, it's like you had maybe karmic lessons that you had to teach this woman or or for whatever reason, it's like you just weren't born, um, you know, you, you didn't get to be with your soul mother biologically this lifetime. But this woman, can't, this biological mother of yours, she can't um, replace. It's like she's like a disgrace to your real soul mother. She She can't replace your soul mother. This could even be for someone who maybe your mother died. Um, maybe you knew who your soul mother was and maybe she passed away. And maybe this is like a stepmother or someone who's just kind of a little bit evil here. Uh, you know, take it as it resonates. There's different stories here, but it's the same general energy group, uh, general storyline here. But yeah, it's it's like... When I say you're not going to win with her, it's it's like you're trying to find your soul mother in this very heartless woman and you're not going to find it. It's going to be frustrating. This woman is going to use you to her advantage. She's it's it's not you. It's like I feel like you're very empathic and it's like it's not you. Like this woman is not capable of love. It's not like it's just you. It's, it's like she doesn't love. I don't think she really loves anyone. Maybe one or two people, but you're not going to find what you're looking for here. There's no sense of staying tied to this woman. You need to free yourself of this. You need to cut the cords. Tell me more about this. Yeah, cut the cords. Ten of Wands is letting go of the burden. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. And when you do this, this woman is going to try to manipulate you. She is going to try to guilt trip you to... 
to throw a pity party for herself. She's very manipulative. Very evil person here is what I'm picking up on. I feel like you're already trying to let go of her and she's trying to stop you from letting go of her. She's trying to stop you from... She's trying to one-up you. She's trying... She may even be jealous of you. She might even be jealous of your youth. Honestly, um... Because I keep getting like a Cinderella story. Like I keep seeing that in my head. So I almost wonder if she's even jealous of the relationship that you have with your father or with your brothers or sisters. It's like I, I do feel jealousy from her. Um... Yeah. She could even be jealous of people you date. Like, let's say this is like, a, if you're a man and this is, she might be jealous of like, it's like she wants to protect her son, but she's actually sabotaging her son. She acts like it's protection, but really it's like she wants to be the only woman in his life. Whoever she is, she's incredibly toxic. You know, you need to free yourself. Because I'm getting the vibe of someone who's very loving, very pure, very empathetic, but you need to learn to set boundaries. You need to learn to be logical here. I mean, you can be emotional with the right people. Like, I'm very emotional, but you have to be careful. And, you know, don't just give that energy to anybody. Because it's like you're the kind of person that just sees the good in everyone. Like, you you look for it. You, I'm almost getting, like, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It's like I'm getting all these, like, Disney references. Um... I keep kidding. I know I have people on here that watch watch Once Upon a Time, and I watch Once Upon a Time too. And I was rewatching it, and I swear it's the weirdest thing. But like sometimes, it's like a synchronicity. Like it's part of how I channel. Sometimes I'll get songs or movie or TV clips, and like I keep getting like random Once Upon a Time clips for those of you that are familiar with it. But I'm seeing that that scene. Um, you know it if you've seen the show. I'll I'll, I'll be quick. But I'm seeing that scene where Rumpelstiltskin is like, you know, he's on his deathbed. Captain Hook is, has stabbed him or whatever. Um, and he's talking to Belle and Belle doesn't remember who he is. But he's telling her like, you know, you, you see the good in others and you bring out the good. Even when the good isn't there, you find it. You bring the good out. Like you don't give up on people. And I feel like that's who you are. You know, you, you are very similar to Belle from Once Upon a Time, honestly. And... I feel like you would like that show too. Whoever I'm channeling, you're a romantic and empath. Like, I feel like you might actually like that show. It's a really beautiful show. I love it. Um, anyway, back to the point though. Sorry. But I, I feel like you need to, you, you know, be an empath, be loving, be caring. It's beautiful. You have a beautiful heart, but you just need to be more careful. There are demons in human bodies. There are people here without souls. There are people who are just... The good you're seeing in them is not really in them. It's it's like you're trying to create create good that isn't there in people out of loneliness or out of, you know, obligation, but it's not there is no good in this woman. Whatever good, you know, used to be in here or in her, it's it's not coming back this lifetime, in my opinion, honestly. That's not what I'm feeling. You know, I really don't feel like there is good in everyone. I think some people are evil to their core. Some people and you have to use discernment because there are people that are angry and bitter and damaged, but they're still good people d deep down. And then there are people like this bitch right here who are just evil to their core and they sometimes pretend to be good to get what they want, to get people on the hook. But there are really people out there who resonate with evil, who genuinely, you know, who, it, it's like she's not just hurt. It's like she genuinely resonates with evil energies. You have to understand that. And somebody who's very high vibrational and light and empathetic like the person I'm talking to, it's it's hard for you to understand that about this woman. But it, it's like a hard lesson to learn as an empath. But there is a lot of evil in this woman. The good that you're seeing, I don't feel like it's there. It's an illusion. Or it's maybe, you know, who she used to be years and years and years ago. But it's, it's not, you're not going to get that good out of her. You're not going to get that connection, that love. It, it's... It's like empaths, you know, tend to do that where it's like they they end up in these challenges where they're like, I'm going to fix this person. I'm going to save this person. Not everyone wants to be saved. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Some people like her just want want destruction. They just want others to suffer. Because I'm getting a woman that genuinely likes to see other people suffer like it warms her heart.
It's not someone who's angry and bitter and sad deep down who's, you know, kind of, you know, still a good person. Um, and they, you know, maybe they kind of want to make others suffer because they're angry, but like deep down they're, you know, they don't really want that. Like they genuinely, like if they see someone on the side of the road, they're going to help them. This isn't that woman. She sees someone on the side of the road that's like dying. She doesn't give a shit. She only cares about herself. She's sociopathic though, maybe even psychopathic. And so if you're in the car with her, oh yeah, she's going to stop and she's going to help that person. She's going to have crocodile tears and be like, oh God, I hope they're okay. I hope that, I hope they made it out of that situation. She doesn't care and you can feel that, you know that. Because you're a genuine empath. You know that this woman does not have a... She has a demon soul. She has no soul. Maybe even a succubus spirit. It's it's evil. It's evil in her. And you can sense that. And you got to stop giving her the benefit of the doubt. Because I feel like you see it. I feel like your intuition tells you it. You might even have it come up in your dreams. But you're not the kind, you're not that kind of person. And so you don't understand how someone could be that evil and that cold. But, you know, even if you can't understand it, it's like, you know, not to get graphic, but I mean, think about like people that do things to children. It's like, you're never going to understand that. That's not you. You're never going to be able to process that. But at some point you have to at least accept and acknowledge that those are, there are people out there like that. And there's, there's not, you're not going to be able to convince them. You're not going to be able to save them. You're not going to, you know what I mean? Like they don't want saving. They don't see anything wrong with their actions. So you really got to, you know, find more of a balance. Um, don't just open up to everyone and everything. Don't try to look for, for the good in people if it's not there. Don't, um... You're giving too much of yourself away. You're just giving and giving and giving and you're trying so hard with toxic people and they're just psychic vampires that are draining you. Could even be other people in your life aside from this woman. Could be multiple people. You know, you are a very, very good person so you need to protect your energy more. Um, yeah, again, listen to your intuition because you already know. You've already seen it but you keep giving her the benefit of the, of the doubt but you know what's going on here. She could, for some of you've been hearing that she's cheating on your father and you know this, but you maybe turned a blind eye because you didn't want to be part of the drama. Um, this woman's very evil, though. Again, use discernment. There's good people out there who are just, just damaged and genuinely want help, and there's people who genuinely, like, she really loves, like, it warms her heart to see others suffer. It warms her heart. Like, it makes her happy. It, like, brings her peace. She's a very evil person. And I think it's important, too, for empaths to protect themselves because, you know, I mean, for, for many different reasons, but one of the big things is if you give and give and give to psychic vampires, eventually you end up becoming just like them because eventually you become bitter and angry and damaged and you shut down and you end up, it all builds up. And you end up just hating everybody. You end up just seeing people as absolute garbage. And it's like you don't want to help anyone at that point. You know what I mean? It's like don't don't keep giving so much of yourself away to these types of people. Because there are people that genuinely do want help. There are people who are seeking help. Who want guidance. They want light. They want support. They want to change. They, are, they have potential for growth. This woman's not one of them. But there are people like that out there who do need your light, they need your support, they need your love, they need all that you have to offer. And they're not going to be able to get that from you. They're not going to be able to get that support from you if you've already drained yourself and given it all away to these toxic, one-sided kind of connections. You know what I mean? Just your energy is too precious to be giving it out the way that you have been. You've got to be more mindful here. Um, find more of that balance. Anyway, let's see what else the, the cards want to say here. Yeah, because I feel like you're going to try to cut her out and she's going to come through with the crocodile tears or, or promises. You need to be smarter than that. You need to put your foot down. This person sees you as an easy target. I, I feel like this person is, she sees emotion as weakness. And she feels, she knows you're emotional. She knows you're empathetic. She sees you as like, you know, honest, honestly, she sees you as like, you know, poor bleeding heart, like poor... 
I'm hearing poor liberal. So like maybe for some, she's super conservative and you're more liberal. Um, Cause I'm getting for some, there's like a political difference here as well. Political beliefs, but um, she just sees you as like a bleeding heart and she feels like she can take advantage and you need to cut the cords too, because there could be a lot going on astrally, like telepathically. This woman is just draining your energy. Like her soul is just very evil. I think we might have channeled her before months ago, but yeah, she's very, very just no, uh -uh, no, stay away from that. Um, cut the cords, cut the cords. So she's not still draining her energy, even after you've cut her out and you need to set boundaries. You, you got to learn to set boundaries. You're going to keep having people like this come into your life. And it's honestly, I hate to say it, like, I'm sorry, but I'm the messenger here, but it, it's just, I know it sucks, but you're going to get more challenges like this, difficult people that come into your life and they push you around, they treat you like a doormat, they use you, they drain you, they take and take and take as much as you'll, you'll, you're willing to give. And then even when you're not willing to give, they'll push for more and they'll guilt trip you into giving more. And you're going to manifest more people like this if you don't learn the karmic lesson and wrap this karmic cycle up. Like you have a chance to learn this karmic lesson and wrap it up. This is this karmic mother, whether she's a biological mother, a stepmother, a mother figure, whatever she is, you have the chance to wrap this up with her. Could even be like a coworker or an employer that acts like a mother towards you. Whoever she is, it's like you have the chance to end this karmic cycle. And I would do it because honestly, like, I feel like they're just going to, your spirit guides are just going to bring you someone else just like her. If you don't end this cycle with her, they're going to bring you someone else and you're going to go through the same shit with the same same energies but just a different person different body but it's it's going to be the same lesson you you got to learn it you got to learn as an empath to protect your energy and set boundaries and stick to those boundaries tell this woman to fuck off if you have to honestly block her she comes at you with the crocodile tears the trying to play on your empathy trying to take advantage of your kind nature trying to take advantage of your heart I keep getting like fairy tales like I'm seeing now I'm seeing like Snow White and the the queen or whatever it's like I'm getting I keep getting like fairy tales it's like you're like the youthful beautiful princess or prince and she's the bitter old hag that's you know jealous of you but trying to doesn't want people to know it you have something she wants you need yeah you, you gotta set you gotta cut her out and you gotta set boundaries and you gotta stick to them you got, I'm sorry it's harsh, but you got to stop being naive when it comes to her. Because, like, obviously she's going to say, someone like this, she'll say anything to pull you back and get your energy back. You got to be smarter than that. You, you really got to be smarter than that. And don't let it make you cold and bitter because it's like not everyone's like that. There's... You, you don't have to... You, you can learn this karmic lesson. You don't have to repeat this cycle and manifest more people like this. You can change everything right here, right now, like today. You can just decide, I'm done with this kind of energy. I'm done with these people. I'm, you know, taking my sword. I'm, I'm, I am meditated on it. I'm taking my sword. I'm cutting the cords. I'm protecting myself. I, I learned the lesson. I'm, you know, manifesting better people. And you might be challenged here and there with people, you know, similar to her, but like stay, stick your, stay to your, you know, Stick to your guns or, or uh, stay your stay your ground or whatever. I don't know why. Stand your ground. I don't know why that was so hard for me. <laughs> stand your ground. You know, stand your ground and those challenges will, will lessen over time and you'll start getting, you know, kind of emerging slowly into this new energy of manifesting better people, manifesting relationships where they reciprocate your energy, where they give you the same love and support you're giving them. Lovers, Queen of Cups, the Sun. Yeah, you're you're very youthful, very bright, vi ah, vibrant. What is wrong with me? You're gonna have justice too for your kind heart because you are the Queen of Cups. You're the Sun. You're you light up people's lives. You're gonna have someone. You're gonna have love coming in. It's like you're gonna have. Um, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, it's like you really resonate with fairy tales because I've gotten like I got Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, Cinderella. I feel like you're gonna have like your prince or princess, you know, Prince Charming or your princess, like your happily ever after. Your spirit guides want you to know that you will have happily ever after. You will have justice 
as a reward for, you know, being the kind of person that you are. It's like, you've had choices, you you've had, you've made tough choices, you've, you've decided to be the Queen of Cups consistently. You could have become like the Queen of Swords, you could have become, you know, cold and, and try to destroy people and just given up on everybody, but you decided to keep being loving, you decided to keep seeing the best in others. You're the sun, you're the queen of cups, you made the right choices, you've gone down the right path, you're going to be rewarded for that with true love. You do have good energy coming in. But you really need to let let these succubus types go. You have okay, you have more than one person that's draining you in the astral realm energetically. Because you've allowed it. Because of, you know, again, not learning the lessons, the in you know, the lessons about boundaries and sticking to those boundaries. You can be the queen of cups. You can be loving and vibrant and happy and joyful and still tell people to fuck off when you need to. You can be loving and empathetic and still say, you know what? I'm not going to help you with that today. I am too exhausted. I'm going to take care of myself today. I'm going to put myself first today. There is nothing wrong with that. It's not selfish to take care of yourself. It's, it's okay for you to say no. You need more of a balance. You know what I mean? You need to, you naturally are the queen of cups, but it's like sometimes you have to kind of be a little bit more, more stable, more balanced, more assertive. Um, but you are being spiritually led and you will have love coming in. But I think, I honestly feel like these succubus type spirits are kind of blocking it because they're taking so much from you. You don't even see what's going on in the astral realm, just how much they're, they're draining you, how much they're manipulating you. It's like you're blinded by your empathy, by your, your desire to see the best in people. You're not seeing the truth. You're not seeing reality. You're not seeing what's right in front of you. You know, it's, it's time to, to bring logic in and, and to merge these different energies and, 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 and balance these, you know, you're going, you're, Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to word it. It's like, don't stop being the queen of cups, but you have to... It's like you're 100% queen of cups most of the time. You know what I mean? It, it's like, you need you need that balance. You need those logic and emotion. They need to balance each other out. Light and darkness. It's like they need to balance each other out. If you try to just be all light and love and happiness all the time, it's like you're going to wear yourself out. You know, be more mindful of who you're trying to help be more mindful of the energy you're putting out there and giving to others um, and make sure you're getting that same energy back from people as well and it's one thing it's fine to help people that want help that are seeking help but you really got to learn the difference between psychic vampires that just want to take and take and take from you and people that genuinely want your help and genuinely want to do better and be better and and give back and pay it forward you know because if you give to a woman like that, everything you give her dies with her. It's not, she's just going to take that energy, that youth, that that innocence, that purity and feed off it and it dies with her. She's not going to pay it forward. But you help a genuine person, they're going to remember your kindness and they're going to pay it forward. And then those people are going to pay it forward. It's like, it's, it's going to be paid forward again and again and again. Like it, that's your legacy, you know, but, but again, you keep giving to these psychic vampires, it, it's, they're, they're not, they don't, they don't have any desire to help others. They don't have any desire to give that energy forward, to pay that energy forward anyway. Um, but yeah, you have justice. You have justice on your side. You are going to get out of this situation. You are going to get away from her. I feel like you're already trying to get away from her, but you, you need to just tell her to fuck off and just block her. Honestly, you're being too nice. You're, you're honestly being too nice is what I'm feeling. Like, I think you kind of made that decision. You're like, you know what? She's not good for me. I, I think that you feel bad for her, like she's a druggie or an alcoholic or she's um, just miserable, like you just, I don't know, it's like you want to save her and she doesn't want to be saved. She wants to drain your youth from you. She wants to drain your energy. But again, someone who's that sociopathic, she will lie to get what, what she wants. So I, I feel like she already has or is about to come trying to, you know, again, take advantage of, you know, that bleeding heart that she feels like you have, like tug on your heartstrings, like, I'm sorry, I'll go to AA meetings, or I'm sorry, I'll quit doing drugs, or I, I don't have anybody else but you. 
Um, like she's going to give you a sob story and you need to be smarter than that. And you need to just be like, that sucks to be you, but I'm, I'm freeing myself. Prioritize yourself. Wrap this karmic lesson up and prioritize yourself. Tell her to fuck off. Honestly, just, just do it and just block her. She's not going to change. She's not going to stop being manipulative. Stop. Let go of the illusion. Stop telling yourself these false stories and, and look at what's right in front of you with her. Honestly, you have justice on your side. You have spirit guides on your side. You have the chance to end this karmic cycle if you choose to. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. I'm going to go ahead and put this out. Thank you for watching.